going to teams that we expected to be good, mm -hmm. but lost. Uh, first, let's start off with the Green Bay Packers. Do you think that they are fine or they are in trouble? No, they're fine. They're good. Okay. They're good. Like I said, I think at last video, Aaron Rodgers got a chip on his shoulder. Packers are fine. Aaron okay. Rodgers, he, he's good. He's good. They'll just make some adjustments as long as that rookie starts catching those balls yeah. wide open. That was uh, that was brutal. That was tragic, but I think they're good. Yeah, I'm going to go and agree with you and say that they are fine. I don't think that there, there's anything of too much to be concerned about. It's going to be worse a little bit this season without Devontae Adams. Yeah, we all expected sure. that, but uh, for Matt LaFleur – to make the NFC Championship three years in a, in a row without getting Aaron Rodgers much help, that says a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's going to be okay. And I think last year, uh, week one, they lost big time against the New Orleans Saints. Mm -hmm. Jameis Winston threw five touchdowns, and everybody was like, oh, the Green Bay Pack. Aaron Rodgers Ooh. went on to win an MVP that year. So I think they're completely fine. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers in overtime. Are they fine or in trouble? Come on, Joe. Um, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they're gonna be fine though. Okay. I'm, they're they're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm with you. That was bad, terrible, but it's fine. I, I it's okay. When you talk about the teams that are gonna be compete, competing in the AFC, the Bengals always come up. Yeah. And will they make the AFC Championship with the Bills around, with the Chargers around, with the Chiefs that looking good against the Cardinals? I don't know, but. As far as AFC contenders, yeah, they're up there. So I'm going to say, yeah, it's okay. But Burrow, you need to call up Winston and ask him for his eye doctor's information and get that handled. 49ers, they lost 19-10 to against the Chicago Bears in a very wet game. Yeah. That was bad. It was bad. That was very bad. But I'm going to say that they're fine. Okay. I'm going to say that they're fine. All right. I think I think Lance is going to lead that team really well. You're a Lance believer. I'm a Lance believer. And at what point I, – I know that this was a report that uh, Jay Glazer on Fox came out with saying that uh, Kyle Shanahan, the head coach, called in 15 team leaders mm -hmm. that were part of that uh, 49ers team uh, before the season started and said, hey – if Trey Lance does bad, there's going to be a lot of people in the media asking you questions like, do you feel like Jimmy Garoppolo should go in? Like, are you a believer in Trey Lance? I want you to always back up Trey, Trey Lance on everything. And the team leaders were like, yep, I got you. So they have faith in, in Lance. Mm -hmm. And when he performs poorly, they're going to continue to keep Lance in there. So Garoppolo, I think, is being talked about being traded to the Cowboys now. Like, just rumors. Speculating. Just because of the yeah. injury to Dak Prescott. That was crazy. Yeah, but I fell asleep and then I woke up. Yeah, he to the game being over. And yeah, he had an injury. I was like, "What? Dag is gone again, As, man." So Jimmy, Jimmy to the Cowboys. I'll probably be smart. 49ers for me. I'm gonna say they're in trouble. I'm gonna say like against the Chicago Bears. I mean, I'm not saying that the 49ers can't be mm -hmm. playoff contenders. I think they can. Yeah, but if you lose this early on. I know it's week one. Things are sloppy. It was a wet game. Things are sloppy, but it was one of the worst teams in the NFL and the Bears. There has to be some sort of reason for concern. With a new quarterback, you got to be like, okay, what are we doing wrong? We got to fix this before something, you know, it just ruins our season. So I'm saying, I'm saying they're in trouble. The Indianapolis Colts, they tied it against the Texans. Fine or in trouble? Trouble. Let's just move on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Matty Ice looked good. You know, he was, run he was moving the ball. He was running the ball a little Out bit. Out of the pocket? Out yeah. of the pocket. I'm like, who is this? Who is this? I'll tell you who it is. The guy that I said is a runner-up for MVP last week. You did say that. <laughs> you did. You did. Okay, so you say they're in trouble. I'm going to go with – I'm going to go with they're fine. Still a very talented team. I still think that they're favorites to win the AFC South. Uh, I know that the Tennessee Titans, which we're going to be talking about in just a bit, are contenders as well. But um, I'm going to say they're fine. No okay. panic here. But for the New England Patriots, are they fine or in trouble? Trouble. Patriots aren't what they used to be. No. It's, uh, I agree with you. I mean, 
Matt Patricia calling the offense. It did not look good against the Dolphins. The Dolphins' defense is pretty good. But, I mean, we expected a, a step up, and the second year for Mac Jones didn't mm-hmm. show it. Yeah. Two good running backs, Damon Harris from Roger Stevenson, didn't look like it was a run first team. So uh, I'm going to say they're in trouble as well. Yeah. And, and they got to fix some stuff before uh, their season goes to waste. Uh, and the last team we want to talk about the Tennessee Titans losing to your New York Giants. <laughs> are they fine or in trouble? Um, They're fine. I would say they're fine. Even losing to my Giants. Go G, man. Um, but yeah. I think the Titans are fine. They always pull. They always. I think they're going to be the. I think the Titans to me are Houston to you. Like the ones that upset. Or yeah. Like, oh, I shouldn't have lost to the Titans, you know. But Derrick Henry is amazing. I, I, I like their offense a lot, a lot. And I like their coach, too. Yeah, I think the Tennessee Titans are fine. They were the number one seed in the AFC last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, somehow, some way, they always get it done. Uh, yeah. Some people would think maybe you need to move on with Ryan Tannehill to each their own. Uh, but I think Tannehill gets it done enough to where, yeah, I agree. He, you know, he's a part of the, you know, the system and the offense. And, I agree. Yeah, you know, he, he's completely fine. 